Hello fellow horn players, it's Jamie and I'm back with another video. This one is all about hand placement. Where does it go? Why? All of that, I got you right after this. So yes, this is a whole video all about hand placement. Why? Because it's so important. It's so, so important. You might not think so, but I hope by the end of this video, I have convinced you to make sure that you put your hands in the right position. Okay, so look at this. Wrong, wrong, and wrong. If you've ever had your hand in any of these positions, you are wrong. But that's okay because I'm going to help you fix it. Hand placement is important for a number of reasons. Number one, it can affect your intonation. Could you hear the difference? When your hand moves in and out of the bell, it changes the pitch. If you go out, it gets sharp. As you come in, it goes flatter. You can hear the pitch go in and out as their hand comes in and out of the bell. So for that reason, horns should never be out of tune. Never, because when you're on the note, you can just move your hand and make it work if your hand is in the correct position. Okay, so because we play with our hand in the bell, Horn manufacturers started manufacturing horns about a quarter tone sharp. So we have to put our hand in the bell the correct way in order for the horn to be tuned properly. If not, you have to work a lot harder to play in tune. And we already have to work hard enough to play the instrument. Why work harder to play in tune when it's so easy to put your hand in the right spot? <laughs> Number two. Sometimes in your music, you'll see a little plus sign over your notes. That means you need to play stopped horn. Let me give you an example of what that sounds like. So stopped horn, you have to put your hand in the bell to kind of cover the bell and close up the sound. So. You need to have your hand in the right spot in order to have the hinge that can just open and close for your stop notes. Just makes it easier if you already do it. Number three, sometimes we have to play with our bells up. And if your hand is already in the right spot, all you have to do is lift it. And there it is, right there. Bells up without having to do anything extra. So take a look at some examples of good hand shapes. You wanna make sure that your fingers are tight and that your thumb is close to the rest of your fingers. No gaps in between there and no gaps in between your thumb. And then you wanna take it and kind of um, bend it just a little bit and then put it on the right outside side of your bell at about four o'clock. So when you put your hand out there at four o'clock, make sure that your arm is away from your body so that your sound can flow through and you still have that nice big horn sound that we've been working on. So hand at four o'clock, arm away from the body, blow through and that air comes right out and your sound is glorious. There you have it. That is the proper hand placement for horn players. Please make sure to try to keep your hands in the right spot. It only helps. Man, being able to fix that intonation on the fly is so critical. So I know all of my students have their horns in the right spot, so I'm checking. Make sure you put yours in the right spot. And it's up to you because, I mean, your band directors can't see your hand. It's in the, it's in the bell of the horn. How are you supposed to see it? So it's up to you to do it correctly. <sighs> All right, thanks for watching. As always, you can leave your questions or comments down below. Subscribe so you can know when the next video becomes available. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at JSquaredHorn. Now go practice. <laughs>